Sometimes it is hard to tell the difference between lawnmowers, especially when they look nearly identical. It makes sense to ask yourself, is this zero turn really worth the extra cash? In this video, we will be going over the Bad Boy Zero Turn Mower Pro lineup for 2021, excluding the diesel mowers and stand-on mowers Bad Boy offers. So let's get started. Before we dive in, I invite you to check out Tractor Bob's YouTube channel after this video. Let's look at the similarities these mowers have. All three of these mowers are going to be built with similar chassis with steel tubing running from the front of the mowers all the way to the back where the engine sits. They will also feature the same heavy duty 7 gauge deck design which I have gone over in previous videos. The mowers will all feature the patented dual deck support isolators which help absorb impact the deck undergoes while mowing. All three mowers come standard with great features like the exclusive reaper tires, the deck dial and foot pedal adjustment, large compartment space, a cup holder, USB ports, foldable ROPS bars, adjustable seat with armrests, adjustable arm controls, and an overall open design that makes all your major components easy to access. The Rebel and Rogue have three deck options to choose from, 54, 61, and 72, as well as several engine options to choose from. The Renegade has a 61 inch and a 72 inch cut option. On the Rebel, you will be able to choose from a 747cc 27 horsepower Kohler, an 824cc 27 horsepower Yamaha, an 852cc 27 horsepower Kawasaki, a 999cc 35 horsepower Kawasaki, and a 993cc 36 horsepower Vanguard. On the Rogue, you'll be able to choose from a 825cc 27 horsepower Kawasaki. You can also choose from two 824cc 33 horsepower Kohler and Yamaha EFI engines, and then you get a 35 horsepower Kawasaki option and a 37 horsepower Vanguard EFI option as well. On the Renegade, you will be able to choose from a 993cc 35 horsepower Vanguard and another 35 horsepower Vanguard. It's going to be the same engine, but with EFI. And again, EFI stands for electric fuel injection. It basically means that you won't have to use a choke to start the engine. Leave a comment below if you'd like a video that goes over the differences between the mower engines specifically. As for prices, they will vary slightly based on the engine option and deck size you choose. But the Rebel is going to start at $8,249 or about $150 per month. The Rogue starts at about $10,599 or about $190 a month. And the Renegade starts at $12,319, or about $220 per month. If you do choose a finance option, it will add to the total cost of the mower up front slightly. If you wanna know about the specifics when it comes to the finance stuff, you can go to badboymowers.com or give us a call at Tractor Bob's or your local dealership. Now the transaxles will also vary. The Rebel features 4400 Hydrogear 16cc integrated transaxles, while the Rogue features Hydrogear 16cc pump with an 18ci Parker wheel motor, and the Renegade is going to have the same setup as the Rogue with the Hydrogear 16cc pump and the 18ci Parker wheel motors. What you will find is that some mowers have integrated transaxles while others have both pumps and wheel motors like we see here. The thing that is important to understand is that with separate pumps and motors, everything is independent so that it is easier in some cases to work on and replace parts and quicker to do so. However, an integrated unit is going to have everything enclosed in one housing so that it is less likely grass, sticks, and other things will cause small leaks or damages to the drive system. The integrated unit can be harder to work on but are much less expensive to manufacture. 
For real professionals and heavy users, I would go with the more reliable separate pump and motors. It's a technology that has been around for a long time and has proven successful. Now the next big difference is the suspension you get on both the Rogue and Renegade, but not the Rebel. The suspension that comes on the Rogue and Renegade is located at the front between the chassis and the front rail, as well as in the back, which is the patented three-link suspension, which is essentially independent suspension on the rear tires. Both features will give you a noticeable increase in comfort and cut quality over the Rebel. The Renegade has the most comfortable ride because it comes standard with a full suspension seat as well. You can add the suspension seat to both the Rogue and Rebel as an upgrade. The next difference is a build quality difference you might have already noticed which is the front rail and front forks on the mowers. The Rogue and Renegade both have a fully cast front I-beam suspension rail and front forks, while the Rebel uses fabricated and welded components. All three mowers have maintenance-free spindles. The Renegade is the only mower of the bunch to come with no flat front tires. However, that is an optional upgrade for all of the bad boy mowers. The cutting heights will also vary with the Rebel cutting height from 1 inches to 5 inches and the Rogue and Renegade cutting heights being from 2 inches to 6 inches. All three mowers hold 13 gallons of gas while the Rebel will be 1 mile per hour slower with a top speed of 12 miles per hour and the Rogue and Renegade top speed at 13 miles per hour. Now for the overall dimensions and weight of the mowers. For the tires, the Rebel is going to have 24 by 12 by 12 rear, the Rogue is going to have 26 by 12 by 12, and the Renegade will also have 26 by 12 by 12. For the front tires, the Rebel will have the smaller tires with 13 by 6 by 6, and both the Rogue and Rebel will have 15 by 6 by 6 for the front tires. For the weight, the Rebel is going to weigh between 1,270 pounds and 1,374 pounds, while the Rogue will weigh between 1,400 and 1,480 pounds, and the Renegade will be somewhere around 1,500 pounds, close to 1,600 pounds for the maximum weight. The size for the Rebel is going to be 92 inches long, 50 inches tall with the ROPS down, and for the Rogue, it's going to be 92 inches long, 53 inches tall with the ROPS down. And for the Renegade, it's going to be 91 inches long and 51 inches tall with the ROPS down. The last major difference is the location of the muffler being at the top portion of the back of the mower on the Renegade. While the Rogue and Rebel both have mufflers located lower on the mower, the Renegade also has more protection across the back. In fact, the whole pump belt assembly and clutch is more protected when it comes to the Renegade. On all three mowers, you will have a front hitch receiver, but on the Renegade, you will also get a rear receiver. But this is another feature that can be added on as an upgrade for any of the Bad Boy Zero Turn mowers. At the end of the day, all three of these mowers are some of the most heavy duty mowers in the industry and are backed by amazing components. Now the Renegade is slightly better than both the Rogue and the Rebel when it comes to suspension, as well as the engine that you get being that Vanguard with the muffler in a better position. However, that's not going to justify the cost difference between the Renegade and the Rogue for most people. The Rogue is a great option for those people who want pretty much the best mower they can get on the market, but don't want to go over that $12,000 price point. It has fantastic suspension, fantastic compartments, and an overall really heavy duty design. Now the Rebel is for the person that really doesn't need that suspension and wants a full on professional grade mower with a heavy duty build quality. I do recommend if you're looking at the Rogue and can't really afford it, to just go ahead and get an air ride seat on the Rebel. You might even be able to find that your dealer near you has one that you can try out. It definitely improves the ride enough to make it worth the cost for sure. But for those of you that can afford it and just want the best mower out there, the Renegade is going to be the mower for you. 
but you truly can't go wrong with any of these mowers. But consider how rough your land is, how much you are mowing, how many hills you have, etc. Because when it comes to the Rogue and the Renegade, they will have a noticeable difference in the smoothness of the ride as well as capabilities on hills and cut quality on a regular terrain. However, if a comfortable ride is your main concern with the Rebel, consider an air ride seat like I said before, it could be the most cost effective way to improve your ride. And if you still aren't sure, head down to your local dealership as I've already said and go for a test drive. Tractor Bob's is in Oklahoma City. Leave a like below and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Have a wonderful day. God bless.